The most common use of these array formulas and functions is for vector matrix calculations or uh, array matrix calculations. The most common application is solving a set of linear equations. Here we've got an example of three equations, three linear equations, and we have three unknowns, x1, x2, and x3. You could go about solving the first equation for x1 in terms of x2 and x3. Then you could do the same thing for the second equation. Then you could sort of set those two equal to each other in terms of x2 and x3. So you've eliminated x1, and you could kind of do the same thing with the third equation. There's also something known as Gaussian elimination. But if you've got access to Excel, it's really easy to solve. So what we're going to do is we're going to extract this coefficient matrix. All we're doing is we're taking out the coefficients, the constants of x1, x2, and x3. So it's not hard to see that the left side of this equality that I have here on the right is the same thing as these three equations. So if I multiply this left matrix by this x vector, I will get the right-hand side of the equation, which is a vector. So what we do is we call this coefficient matrix big A. This is our solution vector x. And then we have our um, resultant vector. So it's not hard to see that a x equals b. Now if we uh, use some matrix math here, we can take the inverse of a and multiply that by both sides. When we take the inverse of a times a, that's just the identity matrix, which is essentially just 1. And so in the end, we get x equals a inverse times b. So we can utilize the matrix functions in Excel to calculate x given a and b. So let's go ahead and do this in Excel. I've, we have our system of simultaneous equations here. They're all linear. So the first thing I can do is I can create my A matrix. This is the coefficient matrix. I'm going to go ahead and name this A. Now we need to extract B. So what we're going to be doing is this second computation down here. The solution is equal to A inverse times B. So I'm going to go ahead and put B in here. That is going to be a vector that I'm going to name little b. And finally, I'm going to put a label for x. A inverse, so the inverse of a square matrix is always a square matrix of the same size. b is a 3 by 1. So when we take a 3 by 3 times a 3 by 1, what we end up with is a 3 by 1. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight a 3 by 1 region. And I'm going to go equals mmult, so there's a built-in function, and what we're trying to multiply is the inverse of a times b. So I have to here calculate the inverse of a, and I'm just going to, in one step, just use the minverse function of a, so that'll calculate the, uh, the matrix inverse of a, and then we have to multiply that by b. So I'm just going to put a b in there, and I close that with a right parentheses, and I'm going to do control shift enter and this is the solution so that's the solution this is uh, x1 x2 and x3 I can always check this by performing this uh, ax equals b so I'm going to name this vector x now the size of a is a 3 by 3 the size of x is a 3 by 1 so a 3 by 3 times a 3 by 1 is a 3 by 1 so I'm going to highlight a 3 by 1 this is going to be mmult of A with X. Control, Shift, Enter. That 0, 1, negative 1 is the solution. So this is how you can use matrix functions in Excel to solve systems of linear equations. Thanks for watching.